He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie La La Land. It stars Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, and is directed by Damien Chazelle. Now, he is the director from Whiplash, which came out two years ago, and that also got five Oscar nominations. Obviously, as we all know, La La Land, people are going ape shit crazy for this movie. It's supposed to be the best movie of the year. Everyone keeps talking about it, how amazing it is. It's their favorite movie. So going into this film, my expectations were beyond high. I, I can't, I, I went in to, to this movie thinking this is going to be my favorite movie of the year. And it's kind of annoying because people are already starting to turn against it. Just because everyone's saying how amazing it is, a lot of people are like, it's not that great, it's not that good. Ugh, they're wrong, it's amazing. Ryan Gosling plays a jazz musician who is pursuing a young actress played by Emma Stone in Los Angeles. Or actually, it's probably more so the other way around. She's pursuing him a little bit more, I think. And it's just one of those films I knew right away. It's a musical. If you don't know that, it's a musical. So there's lots of songs and dancing in it. But I knew right away I was going to love it. It had so many things that I look for in a movie or just like things that relate to me. For instance, I live in Los Angeles. Like every shot I saw, I was like, oh, I know where that is. Oh, I know where that is. Oh, I know where that is. The freeway, like running your lines in your car on the freeway. It's like, we've all done that. All of us actors, we've all had those crappy auditions where people interrupt and it's just so many relatable things for me. I think I'm just going to start off by saying everything I loved about this movie because there is a lot. Let me start off with Griffith Park Observatory. My favorite movie of all time is Rebel Without a Cause starring James Dean. And obviously they shot a lot of the rebel without a cause there and they bring it back in la la land i was so super excited and and they they have james dean references like left and right they go see rebel without a cause i mean how can how can i not love that i'm also a really big fan of jazz ever since talented mr ripley i became obsessed with jazz and chet baker and bird and miles davis and just the whole jazz aspect was so cool to me and i and i really enjoyed that as well there are so many incredible shots in this film just how they, they, they shoot some of the stuff and they, they, they use the, the coloring and the lighting and then the wardrobe and then the music and the songs were great and it was just like so fun to watch. It wasn't sad or depressing, which is what I usually like, but this one was just like uplifting and just made you feel happy and, and good inside. And I, I really en enjoy seeing films like that as well. Along with all that, they have these incredibly long shots, these long takes with no cuts or edits. So it's like, it's like watching a, a play almost because the scene just keeps going and going and going and going and it's awesome and I love that. It just made it feel so much more real, not like a movie where it's like chopped up and so much editing was there. And just like everything about this was so, so much fun for me and I'm trying not to like get too excited, I, I, but I am definitely already on the bandwagon. Toot toot. This movie was amazing and I'm going to say it's my favorite movie of the year. I hate that I'm saying this, but I'm not. I guess I should say something a little negative just so your expectations aren't so high where you're annoyed. But Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, they are both amazing actors. But honestly, I feel like it didn't have to be them. The movie was just, it was, the movie was beyond them. Did they make it better with their acting? Yeah, but I feel like almost anyone could have played the two parts. Well, not anyone. I know Emma Watson was supposed to star in it and Miles Teller, I believe. That would have made a much much more interesting movie. No, it, it wouldn't have, no, I like Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Oh my gosh, I suck. It's a great movie, La La Land. It's my favorite movie of the year. I, 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 don't, I need to calm down. It's really good. Go see it. It's called La La Land and it's playing in a theater near you. Until next time. He'll watch a movie then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.